Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to Our Irish Family. So today I want to do week four of my declutter challenge. So at the very start of May, I set myself a challenge for the month of May and that was to declutter my toddler's bedroom um, and basically just just to clutter it, you know. Um, so if you were interested to see what it looked like at the start, and I would advise that you go and do that because it was awful. Um, I will have that linked in the description for you to check out. But today I want to share with you the bit I did this week. Um, there was only really one area left that I hadn't touched so far, and that was our wardrobe. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So one of the final places I need to declutter in this room is inside the wardrobe. So let's just go to. So you can see up here we have some clothes. The majority of these are too small for Ava now. Here we have a suitcase and at the top is just a pile of clothes um, that she got for her birthday that I haven't put away. Then um, down at the bottom um, we have two suitcases. Again, more clothes that don't fit her but i think i'm keeping those some of these ones here pair of shoes two pairs of shoes actually that she doesn't fit yet um some plastic balls christmas paper um and down in this box down here is craft supplies um, and then also at the very top we have some stuff as well um we have this is for, that she got at christmas and this is Robert, um, something for his motorbike. So I'm just gonna start here at the top and just sort out those clothes. Say hello. Say hello. Get a wave. Good girl. 
No. No, they're mamas. Oh gosh. What is this? What is that? What is it? Do me go blow them with you? Mama go do it. So this is what we are left with. The things at the top have been placed somewhere else. Um, we then have just a little bit of clothes here that are her current size. Um, and then here down at the bottom in this box is my craft stuff and then we're left with three things here so Robert's a spare biker jacket for Robert a heavy jacket for Robert and then this jacket here was my maternity wear jacket so that's those things left in there So this is the pile of stuff that has come out of um, those presses. So first off, I'll just do these. Um, the majority of these are my clothes. Like summer clothes I found in um, the the suitcases and that I'm not going to wear. Um, so I'm just going to donate these. And then also this, I'll have to ask Robert about this. But if it was up to me, yeah, that would be donated. And then also Ava's Halloween costume from um, 2017 will be donated. Over here we have these clothes with tags. They are in 12 to 18 months as far as I know. Um, so this pile here again I'll try to sell them and you know by now I just do I just try sell things for a month and if not they'll be donated. Um, this is a little robe um, the size actually says up to six months, but that's pretty big for up to six months. And um, so again, I'll just put this up for a month, see what happens. And then over here we have clothes in 18 to 24 months. So first we have these two packs of sleepers. And then we have this pile of clothes with tags and um, dresses, trousers, t-shirts. Um, they're all with tags and I'll sell, sell them in a bundle. Um, and then we have these two which are breast milk storage bags and I'll keep these and um, for whenever baby two comes along um, I'll keep these put them in storage and then back here we just have some rubbish in here it's just everything that can be recycled and then in there is stuff that can't be recycled has to go to general waste and that is pretty much everything that came out of that everything else has been put away and there's just a couple of um, bedding and all that sort of stuff that I put away into this section where I'm going to keep that. So there you have it guys. I got a good bit done. Um, we removed the tree suitcases from um, there which obviously freed up a whole lot of space um, and then also we got rid of some of my summer clothes like coats um, Ava's clothes that she has never worn there is piles you can see the piles of clothes that we have bought with tags and she's never ever worn so obviously I'm gonna try to sell those as you know I only put things up for a month and if it hasn't gone after a month I just leave it and um, I then donate it to um, the charity shop but yeah I got a good bit done so there is a couple of more days left in May so um, I will be recording a video on May 31st and that will show you everything that has been done um, and like a contrast to it at the start so make sure that you are subscribed and that you check that out when it appears up and um, if you are looking for more decluttering videos I do have um, a lot a uh, lot of them in the description bar for you to check out I have a whole playlist about my um, decluttering antics that I have to overtaken in the la or I've undertaken in the past year and um, also if you're looking for some cleaning motivational cleaning videos I do have lots and lots of those too and they will be linked in the description if you are interested in reading I do have a blog for you to check out over on my blog I do have different content to what I have here on this channel um, 
I do kind of tot school, which is basically like our learning and playtime with our toddler, and um, family trips that we take, I do reviews on them. And um, I'm also undertaking um, like a zero waste life challenge, and we're trying to cut down our waste recycle and we were in the first month of that where I am recycling so again I will have all of those things in the description for you guys also um, I will have a blog post up later today if not up already um, about the six the six um, products that I have loved since from birth to two years old. So we have used these, literally we received them when Ava was born and we have used them every single day or the majority of days um, up until now, you know. So if you are interested in that sort of recommendation, please go and check out that blog. Um, so that is it guys, I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.